Welcome back to Morning Drive. On Monday, Harold Varner III took to social media with this post in reaction to the death of George Floyd. He said, in part, I pray for equality and social justice as we also desperately deserve that in this day and age. I pray for humanity even more because regardless of color, we need each other to make that change. And Harold now joins us here on Morning Drive. Good morning. Harold, what has the last week been like for you as our entire society tries to make sense of the death of George Floyd? Um, it's just, it's been sad, you know, um, just kind of just try and gather your thoughts. Obviously there's a lot of anger. There's a lot of uh, things that are going through your head. You know, obviously people are at home and they're just kind of doing their thing. So they have a lot of time to talk about what they think and just trying to uh, put together what, what is right. What does Harold believe in? What, you know, cause there was a lot of evil there. There was a lot of things that like, go through your mind and then you see the news and you're like, you know, you see innocent people, you know, just in the way of things that people, you know, are so for. So I just kind of like just struggled with just trying to put it into words of what was going through my head, honestly. Well, you could have kept your thoughts to yourself. You decided to make a social media post. Why? Um, Cause it's important. It's, um, I think it's also important to take your time and get it right. Like get what you think and put that into uh, on paper and just know that like what you're doing is right. Like I believe in the good of, uh, of America, but right now we, there's just things that are happening that just, just, they suck, honestly. Like it's just hard to fathom 2020 like this happening. And, you know, I've never been through anything like this in my life. And then you get this, unwanted undue pressure where you're like when when are you going to speak what are you going to say why haven't you said anything so you're you know you have this pressure of just things that like i'm not really good at i want to come out and say stuff but there's a time and place for everything and how i'd like to say it and i've just been super fortunate to have a great team that can articulate that for me and, and be able to express it where it's just not so much anger you know harold some people believe athletes shouldn't say anything they should stick to sports and hit their golf ball or shoot their basket and move on. What role do you think athletes can play in a moment like this? Um, I think they play a huge role. I mean, as, as you can tell, you know, it just, whenever they get behind something, you know, people that believe in them are just behind that. So they, I think as an athlete, you play a huge role, but the biggest role you play as a human is knowing what's right and wrong and how much wrong we saw. So like, that's what really hurt to me is like, Yes, it was, you know, that there's things that have happened in the past that, you know, just keep leading up to this and people are just, they're just pissed off. But at the same time, that was, that was very evil. And I just, I'm going to fight the good fight. And I think it was time to say something because, you know, I always have an opinion on something. I always have, probably always will. But the people that think that we shouldn't say anything, that's their opinion. I'm, my job is to respect that. That's what they think. But I'm going to, I'm going to do what I can for the betterment of this world. That's my job as a human, as a person in this society, my community, I'm going to speak up. Um, one thing I'm learning is when you speak up that it's, it's people just aren't going to believe what you say, even though you might think it's 100% true, not everyone's going to believe that. And I'm starting, you know, just growing up and just asking people questions, learning, understand where they come from. And I, I enjoy that part of life, honestly, because it, I, it's just who I am. I've come, I've seen a lot of, people in a lot of different places and I respect that a lot. And I'm just super fortunate to be able to voice my opinion and it actually matter, which is pretty funny. Well, you have been very forthcoming in your time as a professional. You said, Hey, I want to inspire all kids uh, to do the right thing and play this game, but, but you are also very unique. Uh, what's been your experience as a black man in a largely white sport? It's been absolutely amazing. I haven't had, a. I have friends who have had, you know, situations that happen. Um, but in, in my lifetime, I've had all kinds of people help me. Like, you know, like I, my parents used to drop me off at the golf course and I played with white people all the time. So I, you know, my experience has been totally different. So sometimes I'm not educated enough to know what it is to feel like you shouldn't be somewhere. You should be here. Um, I've had run-ins with the law before. I've had plenty of speeding tickets. So my experience has always been good. I mean, I, when th bad things happen, I call 911. So in the sport, I haven't had anything, but it's also my job to know that people have had 
altercations or things that happen to them just because of their color. So I have a hard time fathoming, but it's my job to also know that that's there. You know what I mean? That's, that's happened. But my experience has been unbelievable, but to, you know, like while I'm talking to you, you know, there's, there's an experience that someone's had that is not so great. And I want to be there for the people that had the bad experience, but also the people that have helped me in my journey. It sure seems like a lot of people are having these thoughts and deep discussions right now at their dinner tables. Uh, I'm curious your thoughts because the PJ Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan sent a memo to members of his staff and also to players saying he's doing a lot of listening right now. He wants to learn uh, about what people are thinking and feeling. What is the role of the PGA Tour in a time like this? Um, I think the listening part's unbelievable. I think it's also you know, we're in the position where we we're going to be the first sport to really get back going, you know, like I think since we're all going to be in the same hotels and the same places, you know, spending a lot more time than we usually spend together, there's going to be conversations like this, which, you know, the most amazing thing about life is that there can be a lot of good, even though it's not on the social media, it's not on this camera. There's, there, there's going to be conversations like that. And I, you know, I talked to Billy Horschel about it this morning, like, you know, all this stuff, bad stuff that's happening, you know, this evil stuff, there's going to be some good that comes from it. I mean, I'm already having, you know, I literally was playing golf this morning and I'm already talking to Billy about it after nine holes, you know, like I, I embrace that, that love, that things that want to change are going to change because people believe in good. They're, that's what I tried to say in my message is that there is good. Yes, there will always be bad. It's how this world's always been. That's never going to change, but I'm going to fight the good fight. And if I can do something about it, make a phone call, whatever that may be, I'm going to I'm going to be there for that. How about the golf industry as a whole? Uh, do you feel like the, the, that the ears are open and that the entire industry beyond the professional game, but the college game, the amateur game, junior golf is kind of paying attention to what's going on? I think the whole world's paying attention right now. Um, obviously, on my social media, I know people from all over the world, and the Blackout Tuesday thing just shows that how people are over, they're aware of what's going on, what's happening, and what you know people are hurting. So just being aware of it is the first thing, like knowing that there's a problem. There's obviously we've known there's a problem, but I think there's some of these changes are going to take time, and until that time happens, you know, it doesn't mean you don't you don't voice your opinion, but it's also your job to sit there and trust that as long as I keep bringing up, make it, make it a point to talk to someone about it. I think those, those conversations are going to go a long way. Will it be an overnight change? No, as that's just the way it is. But, you know, people are talking about things that really bother them. And to being a black person, I literally, some of those things that other black people deal with, I don't really see it all the time. So, just because you're black doesn't mean you know everything about being black. You know what I mean? And that's where I've, I've learned a lot, you know? So I just being aware of just how, where you stand, where you would like to see things go, hearing people's, you know, thoughts on what they've been through. Like, I think Jay hit the nail on the head, you know, about listening. Everybody has their unique experience that they bring to the table. You, of course, are a professional golfer who's preparing for work next week what what's your mindset right now as you prepare for the pga tours return at the charles Schwab challenge what are you most looking forward to uh just being around the guys man you know you don't realize how much time you spend around them until you don't spend a single <laughs> minute around them um so yeah just being around them just talking it's kind of weird though i never realized how important a handshake was and i was you know you you like do the little elbow thing and you're like ah oh, that's kind of weird you know because golf's like such a like Hey, thank you. Enjoyed it. So um, it's going to be weird, but I'm super excited about going. You know, like we got to we got to get going. It's uh, this country is founded on work and I'm, I'm excited about getting back to work. Yes, my work is awesome. I love what I do, but I'm excited just to compete, have some fun and enjoy life. You know, you only get one shot at it. So I'm going to embrace every part of it.